Hi, today we are going to create this organic grain effect in Affinity Photo. Especially if you are working with AI-generated images, it can create depth and warmth while masking a bad resolution or other digital artifacts. Why not using the Add Noise filter, you might ask? The issue with digital noise is that it's too uniform. In analog film, tiny silver crystals react when exposed to light. And these tend to be not perfectly random, but clumping a bit. So, what we want is noise that's not too perfect. Imagine noise like this. Every pixel has a completely random black value, which, when zoomed out, looks super even. But then there's Perlin noise. In Perlin noise, each pixel's value is generated by smoothly interpolating between a grid of gradient vectors. This means that neighboring pixels are correlated, creating smooth transitions instead of the abrupt changes you see with random noise. This method creates a more organic look, similar to the crystals in film. So, instead of using the Add Noise filter, we're going to create our own Perlin noise using the Procedural Texture filter. In the Procedural Textures window, we'll add this equation. Let's break this down. Noise CB is the function that generates Perlin noise. VEC2 creates a two-dimensional vector. Then we have RX and RI, which represent the X and Y coordinates of each pixel, and S, which is the scale factor. Toggle the color channels. Our organic grain is ready. We can do all kinds of stuff with it. But for now, let's place an image behind it and see how it looks. First, change the blend mode of the grain layer to overlay and lower the opacity to around 50%. Then we are adding an image. I generated this with Midjourney. As you can see, it hasn't got great quality, but the grain will cover that. Drag the image layer below the grain. Now we have a grainy photo. But as I mentioned earlier, in analog film, there are crystal layers for each color channel. To emulate this, we have to duplicate the procedural texture layer three times with the keyboard shortcut command or control C and group them with Command or Control G. Now rename the layers to R, G, and B. Then, for each layer, open the procedural texture settings, select the corresponding color channel, and move the grain to a different position by clicking and dragging the image. Do the same for the other two layers. That's it, we are done. Because the preview in Affinity Photo isn't very accurate when it comes to noise, let's export the image and take a look at the result. I think it looks very natural. What do you think? You can adjust the intensity by changing the opacity of the group. If you'd like to support me, I've prepared the grain setup as an Affinity Photo asset and project file for you. Just follow the link in the description. Have a great day.